Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you all with a brand new drop list. And where do I even begin, man? There's like. I mean, we got Gummo this week, which definitely is a cool collaboration. I'm praying they have stickers for it, but man, the rest of this week is like literally puke inducing, bro. Like, I'm gagging just looking through these items. $16 thousand dollar tiny ass little mirror bruh i mean we did get the slick rick promotional video that was kind of cool but 16 racks like i just bro i this brand sometimes let's just get into talking about it the best items to go for i do see one item this week that i actually think is pretty worth going for if you don't want to go for anything else so drop a like if you enjoy i do appreciate the people that are here on a brick week and go check out my video from yesterday of me unboxing and some supreme stuff i finally got to open my burberry box logo we also got the bb simon out put it around the neck bro it's a fun video so go check that one out but let's get into this drop list today i hope you all enjoy let me know if you're gonna go for something if you do you are a brick soldier but let's begin also yes i know i look like a french poodle bro i've been trying to figure out a hairstyle boys i don't even know what to do anymore let's get in the video though i hope you guys enjoy really quick as always if you guys want to join my private cook group i am going to type up like two different items to go for this week there really isn't a lot to go for but hit us up on instagram if you want to join <laughs> Okay, Boone, just dial in. Act like you care about this stuff, man. Um, let's start it off talking about this gummo drop because it is a pretty cool one. It's definitely like the focus of this week. Now, you guys know me. I have seen no movie, nice. so I've never actually seen the gummo movie. However, it is something I've seen referenced many times. Harmony Korean is pretty much like the main thing I know about that movie. If you guys don't know who that is, he's been around with Supreme for a long time. He's a photographer. He's done some movies. Like, obviously, we're talking about his main movie, Gummo. But some of you might not know, he also was a part of Kids. I believe he, like, wrote the script for kids or something like that and all I've heard about this movie non-stop is how bizarre and weird it is that's kind of the point of it I definitely have to watch this one um, Supreme usually does motivate me to actually check out these movies so it is something I'll probably end up watching but I've not seen it yet but we have a bunch of really weird items from this movie um, we got the hooded sweatshirts they're cool and all but 168 man like just tax and retail it's not hoodie season um i would be skipping on these we have two different t-shirts um honestly i do kind of wish they used some different graphics for the tees i hate to be that person bro because it's probably a hype beast take the dude with the bunny ears one of the most like iconic images from this movie it probably would have brought some resale to this collab because as of right now i'm not really feeling it to actually make money off of and i mean don't get it wrong i do think there's some really cool items here like the skate decks are probably my favorite um, specifically the one with several scenes from the movie. I actually think that is such a dope deck. You have the hand drawing on the top side of the deck. I'll even go as far to say this deck could down the line have some resale. Probably not a lot though with the 68 retail. Certainly not much first day. You're not really going to see first day profit with this entire week in general. I'm just here to make a video just to say I did, man. I didn't want to skip a video. I have a lot of videos on the way. This whole week is jam packed with releases. So maybe like a double XL t-shirt in black or something. My favorite item from this collab, and I've seen this viewpoint shared by a lot of people is definitely this jersey like this jersey i actually am a really big fan of i love like all these football jerseys that have movie scenes on them we saw the old dirty bastard one that's obviously not a movie but um we also saw the hellraiser that was such a sick jersey and i think this jersey's up there as well you got a big gummo hit on the back side um my favorite color for this one's probably going to be the light blue or the black the gray even is pretty cool and i could say man there could be some sneaky profit on this in like an xl again you are gonna have to hold it like there's just really not first day profit on this week but of all the collab items to get sneaky profit i'd say double xl of a t or maybe an xl of one of these jerseys if i had seen the movie by now i'd maybe even get a jersey but we do have ftp saturday and i'm trying to save my money for that to be honest so i'll probably be skipping on almost all these gummo items maybe i'll get a t-shirt man i almost forgot to mention also the coach jacket's actually a pretty cool one i think they actually did a pretty good job on this collaboration but of course it's really obscure and like today's supreme audience is not going to care about it maybe like five or ten years ago this would have performed a lot better but i always love to see them bringing stuff back with harmony um obviously we just saw that little video he did with tyshawn and julia fox but let's keep it moving let's go through this stupid mirror bro the moment i saw this thing in the lookbook i knew it was going to be taxed i didn't think sixteen thousand dollars tax like that is just unfathomably ridiculous especially because at least in my opinion i don't even think shit's cool man like i honestly think it looks kind of dorky like i don't know it's just what are we doing bro this shit would not fit in 
any hypey's room. It's like Victorian-esque looking bullshit, like around all your bro. box logo shits and fucking cause dolls. No, bro. I'm not feeling it at all. 16,000 bucks. Like, how do you even get to that price, bro? I get it's hand painted. There better be like actual gold in the fucking trimming of this, even though I know there's not. It's made in Germany. I'm sick of talking about it. Supreme is getting out of pocket with these accessories. They must be stopped. It's literally going too far. Like, it feels like they're just trying to make the most ridiculous accessory with the most outrageous price possible. Congratulations, Supreme. You fucking did it. I hope this shit sits on the website and y'all get stuck with stock, but that probably won't happen. Someone out there is going to think these resell. No, they're not going to. Let's keep it moving. Uh, level that's probably not even going to drop. Sweet. Awesome. Love this drop list. Baggy jeans. Um, pretty cool. Like, I feel like Supreme jeans are already decently baggy, so I'm sure these are just ridiculously oversized, but that is the style right now, so um, a pretty cool personal. I'm not going to be buying them. I'm skinny as hell. Like, the regular jeans are baggy enough on me. Let's talk about the Silver Surfer leather jacket. Kind of bizarre they're dropping this one without the rayons, and oh, man, they, we better get a t-shirt for this collab. It's really, I'm guessing maybe they're actually doing this jacket right now just because it's going to only get warmer outside. Um, I would guess Silver Surfer comes with the next t-shirt week, and that's probably going to be deeper in the season. I'm actually not thinking about it. They're probably dropping this jacket on its own just to try to get rid of it before it gets too hot out. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the backside of this one is pretty sick, but... I don't know, it didn't need the fat Supreme spell out on the front. I wish they just did like a tiny little pocket logo or something. Not my favorite item of the week. Um, I mean, it's a cool back graphic, but 800 bucks, like, uh, like, sorry. They're trying to make us go homeless this week on the site, so that's gonna be a skip. Let's talk about my favorite item of the week for actual profit, man. We've talked about a lot of bricks so far. If you're still rocking with me, I'm gonna put you on to the sleeper of the week, and that is gonna be the Gore-Tex leather cam caps, man. These are actually like super solid to pick up. Uh, leather cam caps are definitely Definitely an item I've slept Damn, on son, the last couple years, and I continue to see them do crazy numbers. Now, yes, these are going to be 78 bucks, um, which is phew, that's a lot of money. And obviously, Gore-Tex is not super appropriate for the season, so it is going to be a hold. Like, there's not any immediate profit this week, so I recommend a lot of you skip it. But um, these cam caps, honestly, are going to hit 150 plus, like no question to me. Black colorway is my favorite on this. Obviously, um, you'll have to hold it for a few months, but these are definitely going to do some nice numbers. They're going to sell out quicker than you might expect since they are leather. I'm just sick of sleeping on the leather cam cap, so I'm gonna pick one up. Um, I'll probably get like a gummo t-shirt and double XL as well, just to like, I don't know, not single car, because I hate myself when I single car. That's really like the only item I think is actually worth going for this week to get some money down the line. I can't recommend anything else, but let's just go through the haul of bricks now to get rid of these other items. Cover stitch sweatpants, hell no. Hoodie, meh, no. Tonal monogram silk shirt. I mean, it'll probably sell out. These button ups keep selling out, but it's not gonna have profit. It's a no. Maybe Boone will like the flame short sleeve. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not even going to finish the name of it. Um, the open knit cable small box sweaters are actually kind of cool. 138 not the worst retail. Um, these kind of open knit items are definitely trendy right now. I'm seeing a ton of them on like social media and shit. Actually, a kind of cool item here. This could be a sleeper of the week, but I don't have enough confidence to recommend it. Black color if you did pick one up. It is a cool item. I'm actually like happy to see him doing one. Also would have to grab XL. Um, they also did an air mesh five panel or six panel. Who cares how many panels, bro? It's a skip. And I think that just leaves us with the striped button-up polo. I just wish this was a long sleeve, man. I'd actually kind of dig it if it was, just because it'd look more like a cardigan. But for whatever reason, when you cut off the sleeves, it just becomes so much more grandpa core. Like, this just, I don't know. I feel like you'll see this in a retirement home. Not to say it's not kind of fire. Like, I do kind of like these, to be honest. But I'm not buying one. But that's going to do it for this week. I am sorry. I kind of rushed through this one. But I'm really late with the video. I was at the gym earlier. Was there a little too long. So, yeah, I'm pretty late with this one but skippable last week man go for the Gore-Tex leather cam cap if anything else probably what I'm gonna end up picking up maybe I'll get some mac and cheese like I don't fucking know I don't even know what I'm gonna do tomorrow man I'm just gonna make a video for y'all's entertainment just like I did today uh, the gummo stuff's definitely cool but probably for the personal so I'll see y'all later live cop tomorrow um, palace lookbook Friday I'm thinking and FTP live cop this Saturday so yeah I'll see y'all later I'm out peace